Textual Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Hello, sir. So, uh, customer specifically asked about the Hager 824S and the 822S, which is a bronze spring uh, weather stripping. And the dimensions are called out on, for example, the 824, it says it's a half inch one way and a half inch the other way. But the customer is specifically asking for the gap it covers. And I don't see that public. And then my question is, is that because the gap between the door and the jam is pretty standard? So you're talking about the Hager 824, the interlocking weather stripping. Uh, 824S. Okay. All right. So, hey, man, this is a deep dive. Um, this stuff is, okay. well, this isn't interlocking. Uh, so an 824S. And so what is the question? They're asking what gap. Uh-huh. What margin or gap to leave between the... Uh, face of the door and the face of the stop. Okay, so the answer is don't know. Don't know because it's not drawn and it can't be assumed. You know, what you, you could make a reasonable guess by scaling the drawing that they've made available to us, but there's truly no way to know without asking the factory. And it, I, would, I would assume... If I was going to make an educated guess that you're going to be 3 sixteenths would be my assumption. Um, and that's mm -hmm. based on the difference between 1 and 15 sixteenths and 1 and 3 quarter. Um, 1 and 15 sixteenths is a typical rabbit dimension, and 1 and 3 quarter is a typical door thickness. And using their drawing, they've kind of shown it, the door and the jam, to be flush, meaning there's no inset. So I would say 3 sixteenths is what you would need there. And my opinion is that that's a really good size uh, for that because if it's too big, they can kick the weather stripping over a little bit. And under no circumstances would it really be any ever smaller than that because your rabbit's really probably not going to be greater than one in 15 16 but before somebody does anything, you've got to find out from the factory. Okay. Now, you know, this drawing is insufficient to manufacture from is the bottom line. Uh, hang on one second. I have a ruler here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to stick with 316. Not that when I scale this, but when I put a rule literally on the drawing that I'm looking at, it's, it's half inch overall, so it's pretty faithful. And that dimension is eighth of an inch from contact. So I would think an eighth of an inch would work, but no okay. greater than three sixteenths. So he, he, here's the, the thing that kind of threw me and why I asked about the standard size is because they're asking for this to fill the gap of one quarter oh. and three eighths. Oh, okay. And that seems like a large gap in between that situation, but I'm, I might just be thinking out of turn too. Well, that could be okay. I mean, maybe what they're doing is removing gasketing, uh, like the like the Pemco Culon. Oh, okay. okay. And you know, you you could have a larger gap than that, so they could have curved in. But the good the good deal is, whether you've got quarter or three eighths, I'm tempted to say that they can use this because you can shift the gasketing over, and you know they may need to where, where you've got the nail flange. They may need to, you know, if it ain't going to work with three eighths because your nail is going to be too close. If the overall width is half inch and you want to you want to fill a three eighths gap, I'm thinking no way. A quarter inch. Yeah, your nail is probably still going to hit solid wood. But what they could do is use some Pemco uh, or, or Hager, whoever makes a self adhesive foam like the. Pemco series, a P397 would be a place to start. Uh, and from a P397, and that's the last part number I have memorized, you can get the table that's down there. And that, yeah, that stuff's eighth of an inch thick. So you could put that on the face of the door and have the two, you know, when so you've got some on the face of the door, which is not really elegant, but that gap is excessive. Um, 
Okay. Or product brochure. Let's see, 820. Yeah, 824. Yeah, the Hager doesn't have a whole lot in that realm, but, um, I, you know, a 3 8 I, three eights is too much, in my opinion. You're not going to have enough room to get a nail in there, is what I'm okay. thinking. I, I think your nail is going to be so close to the face. Imagine in your mind's eye when you're looking at the cross section, the way Hager's drawn it and shifted over an eighth of an inch to the left. Well, try that with a quarter inch. <laughs> it's not going to be enough left. Oh, that right. nail is okay, not going to. Yeah. I mean, okay. it, it's just not adequate. Um, okay. So what, what they could do is install something onto the face of the stop and then use something like the Hager 822S and that gets nailed to the rabbit. So they can fill that area that has the huge gap and give the door something to close against. But you could still do a, a bronze, a spring bronze style weather strip on the on the rabbit of the frame. Okay, yeah. So, okay. okay. Well, very good. You've helped me on this one. And I sure... Awesome, my dude. Sure I'll talk to you. Talk to you. Bye, Bye now. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.